Hey everyone, um, looking on the truck today a little bit. I'm trying to come up with a cool, different idea for mounting gauges. I got this double gauge cluster that's kind of hanging down right here. But I have four new gauges that I bought for this truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I guess what I did already was rip a three inch piece of old barn wood. And this thing, Gonna get mounted underneath here and trimmed out in black on the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is I got it all marked out already here. One second here. So here's what I got: new gauges, pretty cool. I got this all mounted or marked out for each of my four gauges. I'm gonna drill into this barn wood. Um, use my hole saw here, my two-inch hole saw. I'm gonna drill these out here really quick and then throw the gauges in so you can see it. And we'll see how this thing looks. And let's go. the gauges that are recessed and I made them snug so this will get mounted in here somewhere look at that aspect Uh, I got some clamps holding it in place just so I can get a mock up and take a step back and see if that's actually the direction I want to go with it. And at the moment, I'm not really sure if I dig it or not. Thought the barn would be a kind of a cool look. Like my plan is to have these kick panels down here. That's getting barn wood. This section here is gonna get barn wood coming down. That kick panel, of course, barn wood. Thought about doing some bead rolled sections of metal here with the middle cut out piece of barn wood, or the I got some leftover cowhide left that I would go in the middle of that. I'm going to be barnwood board back here to hide all this, finish it off. So I kind of want to bring some barnwood elements into it just because it's old, vintage, wild west. I don't know. We'll see. So I wasn't digging the uh, just bare barnwood look. So I took that piece of barn wood and I used Minwax Ebony Stain on it. And I think it looks a lot better. I am going to try though to do another piece of wood. I want to do a uh, piece of rough cut pine 
and stain that black and see if some of the natural color of the wood comes through on it. So I'll keep you posted.